Well, now what's up with the YouTube? This is TK with Cuts by Kelly. So y'all know I've been reviewing a lot of my products, the, the things that I use at the shop, and even what I use at my house. If I think it's good, or even if I think it's bad, I'm going to do a review on it, just so you can see what I use, and if you want to get it, you can get it. So in this video, we're going to talk about the Facken Razor, or Facon, I don't know how you pronounce it, but we're going to talk about that razor. Because it's under $10 or right at $10 on Amazon. And I think that's a, a good steal, basically. Because you get the razor and 100 razors with the um, razor holder. So, if you like the content that I put out, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell. If I leave anything out, you still have any questions, leave that in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Like always, I appreciate all the new subscribers who have been coming a part of the team. I really appreciate that. So, let's get into the video. Yeah! So the fake on razor. It comes with a hundred razors. I think that's good, especially under ten dollars, because like I said before, usually you you're not gonna get that. You'll get the razors that yourself for around that price, but you won't get the razor holder with it. So to get both of them together, I think that's good, a good start. Now, the handle of the or the hold of the razor and the grip of it is pretty good. You can see the the front is a little bit heavier than the back end of it, but I think that's good. I really appreciate that they put the, the weight in the front because when you hold it in your hand, you still have a good grip. And you it, it just works out well. It gives you good control over the razor. And so I like the hold of it. It's lightweight, but it still has some weight to it. And without the tail end, with, I'm saying it's the tail end, but the part that you usually flip over, without that in on it, it makes it even better to get around the mustache or when you're getting around the ears and things like that. Around the nape area, you always have that problem with the razor touching the shoulder and just trying to get in the right position. But since that part is not attached to this razor, I think, I think it makes it way better and you're able to maneuver around your client good. So that's one thing I really like about it. Now me personally, I have another razor that I use a lot still, but I like this one too because when I'm doing the nape area or if I'm doing a beard, and even when I'm just um, doing the all around shave, I like to switch things up sometime and not use the same thing all the time. So. This razor does it for me, and I like the feel of it. The blades of this razor, they're not as sharp as the Pasana. That's the ones I like. I like the Pasana blades. They're sharp, um, but they're still razor blades, so they're still sharp, but they're not as sharp as I would like them. But that really wouldn't stop me from buying it because I get a hundred of them, and still, you can use your derby blades, your Pasana blades, or whatever, and use the same holster with that um, razor blade. So that's a bonus. But I'm going to show you how to holster the, um, well, put the razor in the holster, just so you can see how this thing works. And if you like it, man, you can just hit the link below and order it off of Amazon for like $10 or less. There, they have more than this razor that I have, the more style, should I say. And it ranged from like, um, let's say about $9 to about $17, but I can't speak on those. I can speak on this one because I have it. And um, actually someone, I, I, someone bought it and I paid them for it. So yeah, but the razor is good. So like I said, let me show you how to holster it. So, like always, you always you're gonna go into the your razor box, get your razor out, 
And like I said, there's a hundred of these in the box. So all you have to do is push this side up. And when you push it up, you see those grips, you push it up, it's going to release. And then you're going to sit your razor on top of the two brackets that they're, that they have in there. It's notched out for you. You can't really mess it up. Once you sit it in there, you're going to slide the cap part or the top part back on it. You're just going to slide that back in there. If it's uneven, you can just put it flat on the table and it'll, it'll go right into place. So yeah, that's mainly the razor. But like I said, I used it already at the shop. It's pretty smooth. It works out pretty good. I use the razors too. So like I said, they're not as sharp as the Pisanas that I like to use, but they're still sharp. They still get the job done and I don't have to take that much time with them. So they're still good, but I'm, I'm a little picky with what I use. So that's why I'm saying I like the Pisanas more. Somebody might say these are better, but hey, like I said, I like the Pisanas more. So if you like this content, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell. Make sure you leave a comment. If I if I left something out, you still have questions or any concerns about this product or anything else. Or if you want to see something that I haven't put out, leave that in a comment and I'll try to do my best to put that out. But if you like this razor, please hit the link below and go buy it for yourself. You can't beat it. $10. And you know if you got that prime shipping, you're going to get it in two days. I mean, you can't beat that. But that's all I have today. This is TK with Cuts by Kelly. And I appreciate you.